Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 77, Sidekick on VPS, Deploy, Restart, and Multiple Projects. In this episode, we'll cover deployment, set up Capistrano to restart and configure Sidekick when deploying, restart, add a system file to the server to handle server restarts and possible Sidekick crashes. It does happen. And then a bonus, how to configure to have multiple projects on the same server. It's a little tricky. If you want to code along, you'll need Capistrano set up to deploy your app, Redis on your server, and Sidekick set up on your app. I do have other Ruby snacks where I go over this, so go ahead and look on rubythursday.com backslash episodes for those. Today, I'll be showing the configuration for the invoice app that I created last year. So here's a little tale of troubleshooting. I had Capistrano Sidekick installed, but realized the queues weren't being processed after a reboot. I needed to have read the docs. If you go here, there's actually a little section about Capistrano Sidekick and how it doesn't restart. Now you'll notice this episode, I'm not going to be taking you through step by step because there was a lot of troubleshooting involved. It took me a couple of days to get everything right. So I'm just gonna show you the final result and talk you through that. So part of my troubleshooting involved continuing to do research, and that's when I found this tutorial with an updated info for System D. That's what Ubuntu is now using. So I'm using this tutorial here. And then when I was troubleshooting, I realized that on the Sidekick UI page, I was getting all of the information, not just staging or production, which was making it even harder to troubleshoot. So I found this lovely article on how to have multiple projects on one server. However, (laughs) part of my trouble was that I didn't fully copy paste correctly. And that set me back a couple of hours. So again, when you're doing tutorials, just a rule of thumb, just a reminder, double check because you're changing things for you, but you need to make sure of what they're referencing because sometimes the error messages just aren't that clear. All right, let's get into it. To make sure that your Psychic services restart upon reboot, we need to enable System D to watch them. So on the server, you'll sudo nano and then create this file, lib systemd system sidekick.service. Sidekick has an example of this file for you, so you can copy it from this URL. Then what you need to change is the working directory to the path to your app. For example, mine is set at var www invoice at production slash current. Then you need to tell it where to find your Ruby if you did not install directly to the server if you're using a package manager. I'm using RVM and you can find this from looking at your Capistrano deploy output. Often it says, you know, using RVM, you know, handle this call. And so mine happened to be home deploy.rvm slash bin slash RVM default do bundle and then whatever. In this case, exec sidekick dash E production. Whatever configurations you want to add to sidekick, you can put here on this line. Then to enable the configuration, use sudo systemctl enable sidekick. You will need to put in your sudo password. All right, still on the server. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up our deploy. And part of this is that it needs to use sudo. And here's a way to have a recipe in Capistrano where you don't wanna allow deploy to use everything without a password, just certain things, this is what you do. So this is an example for Sidekick. You could actually use it for other things as well. Be careful because if you mess up this file, you're going to really just have to rebuild your server. So you go sudo and then visudo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. V-I-S-U-D-O. And at the very bottom of the file, you put the username. Deploy is what I'm using. If you have some other deploy user thing, use it there. And then no password for that specific command. System CTL restart Sidekick. All right, still deploying, a little sidebar here. If you're using multiple queues, you wanna add a configuration file to your app. Config slash sidekick.yml, and then you can have your queues. I, for example, have something called Stripe Webhooks, and then a default just in case. Now, a little note, when you first deploy all this and you go and check the Sidekick UI, you're like, wait, where are my queues? Well, they don't show up until it actually processes something. If you have a custom queue and you don't do this, then Sidekick won't process it. It only looks for something called default. Now we're setting up our deploy script to stop Sidekick and then restart it. 
So we'll have this namespace sidekick. And then the line to pay attention to is puts capture p grep dash f sidekick. And then down under roles app do execute sudo system ctl restart sidekick. So if you look through the sidekick documentation, it's going to show you things for upstart. And in this example, I'm showing you system CTL. So this is where I got a little confused on certain things because the examples I saw actually had restart workers. And that's a different configuration I'm not going to even get into today. But be sure when you have this line that it's all setting up what you've put into the server. All right, so that you're using system CTL and that that service file is named Sidekick. You'll see what I mean more when I go into how to change this for multiple projects on the server. Okay, continuing the script, you do need to have in your deploy RB these calls after deploy starting you quiet Sidekick, then after deploy reverted, just in case something happened, you wanna restart it, and after deploy published, you wanna restart Sidekick. Okay, whew, right, that's a lot, so go and do all of that. All right, before we get into multiple projects, you want to make sure that that part is working. So a lot of different steps at any point you could have mistyped something or copy pasted something wrong. Be sure to do that. And here's just a little visual in case anybody remembers the sitcom step by step. Okay, so if all that worked, you ran a couple of jobs, maybe it's all showing on the same UI. Okay. Now, if you want to have multiple projects on a server, and it's not necessarily something I advise, it's just if you happen to have it and you want to use this, here's how I did it. You need to add an initializer named sidekick.rb. The parts to notice in this is that we have an environmental variable, Redis database, and then the namespace is going to be the name of your app, and then I chose to have it named the Rails environment, staging, or production. And this Redis database environment variable is going to be different. And that's what we're going to change in our application YML or however you handle your environmental variables. You want to set one of them to be zero and one of them to be one. And if you have more, you just keep adding to the number. In order to make this work, I did need to add a Redis namespace gem. So add that and bundle it up. And now we're going to change our deploy config. All right, we're going to, when it quiets it, we're going to put to capture p grab dash f sidekick dash fetch the rails environment all right so that's how we're going to be naming our files everything's going to refer to sidekick dash the name of the environment and then down below i couldn't put it all in one it was giving me errors i had to add the two strings together so it's sidekick dash plus the string for fetch the rails environment okay now we need to go back to the server we're going to rename copy and edit these new dot service files on the server so you can simply move the one you had and now name it production because that's what it was set up to do and now let's copy and make our staging one finally open up the staging one so that we edit it all to say things for staging instead of production so you'll have that path name for the app to be staging slash current and then the command instead will be to bundle exec sidekick dash e staging now we need to enable these new configs so again it'll be sudo system ctl enable sidekick dash production and then the same for sidekick dash staging and of course the last thing is to edit the sudo visidu again so we're going to instead say restart sidekick dash staging and then you can have a comma and then because so it's two commands all right, then it's going to allow however many commands you can separate them with a comma and then the command to restart scikit production so that our deploy user again can do this during the deploy process. All right, I'm going to walk you through just a little bit visually so you can see what I was talking about for all that time. First, I'm going to show you some things in the app and then I'll go to the server. So here we are first off the gem file. On the out here, see I put in the Redis namespace, just right there. All right, most of the action happened in config. All the initializers, and you'll see now I have a sidekick.rb. Here we are. That's what it looks like, all nice and pretty. And then you'll see here the sidekick YML. Here are my queues, and then deploy. 
Here it is all set up for the different projects on the same server. Okay, here I am now in my server and I have actually gone ahead and moved to lib system D system and I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up so that you can see what it looks like. Oh, gotta put in my password. Here we go. And so you'll see here that I changed this line here to be for production. And actually I got the idea right up here is how to run multiple processes, right? Dash, and let's go ahead and call it dash staging or production so that we know what it refers to. And then here is the line where I said where the Ruby is. And I actually went ahead and put the configuration to load the Sidekick YML. I don't think you need that. Several Stack Overflow posts said that you didn't, but I went ahead and put it in anyway because I was having issues. So if it doesn't work, if it's not running your queues as expected, add it right in here and see if that helps. Now I'll show you the Vizudu file. And all the way at the bottom here, you see that I have it restarting the staging and then I have it restarting production. So just to give you a visual to help you say, yes, I'm doing it right. This is what I'm supposed to be looking at. Uh, so that's what it is. Whew, I know that was a lot. Again, tips are just to make sure you're copying, pasting correctly or changing what you need to, that you're referring to files that are there and named the same. Good luck. Here are, of course, more resources. This is what I used. I'm sure there were more Stack Overflow things, but I had already closed them, and this is what I remember using. So here are all the different links that should help you on your journey to make Sidekick work on your server. That is it for this Ruby snack. If you are not already subscribed on YouTube, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. And if you are not subscribed on YouTube, be sure to click on that big red ruby. And here are some other videos that you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.